astrophotography in the UK. It involves a lot of rain. It involves a lot of frustration. I mean, honestly, what is the point? So how do you keep enthused when you live under skies like this? It's been over six weeks since I've been out under the stars. It's felt like an eternity. And granted, I've been away for work for some of that time. Mostly, it's been because the skies have been just rainy, cloudy and windy. Now, thankfully, I've been able to live vicariously out doing nightscapes with some of the fantastic astro channels that are out there. So I've borrowed my wife's sun hat because she won't be needing it anytime soon to show you my favorite YouTube channels that have kept me sane over the last few weeks. Number one. So first one up, let's see who it is. Aha, Grow Photography, Greg, or should I say Greg and Virat, because they are definitely a dynamic duo out there in Western Australia with some beautiful landscapes, really stupidly dark skies and some epic adventures together. What I really like about Greg's videos is how he shows you how he assembles each of the images. Definitely go and check him out. Jakob Sanna. Now, Jakob has won probably more Astronomy Photograph of the Year awards than anyone else in history. The quality of his work is absolutely ridiculous. Epic landscapes, beautiful H-alpha filled skies from the Alps, recently from Namibia. Well worth checking out Jakob and do dive into his Patreon as well to learn how to edit some of the images that he manages to capture. Aha, Starscaper photo, Jeroen, what an absolute legend. That guy does more to support all of us who go out there shooting nightscape videos than anyone else on the scene. Absolutely cracking guy. It really brings out the social side of nightscape photography, out with his friends in the Netherlands and further afield. Very privileged to call him my friend. I suspect that we will be out together again next year at some point. Haha, <laughs> dark sky photography, Garint, who is fortunate to live in some of the most beautiful parts of Anglesey, the island off the northwest of Wales. He is living in some of the most iconic astrophotography landscapes in the UK. A lot of areas you'll be very familiar with, with the likes of Alan Wallace. Some really great, nice, sort of gentle, quiet nightscape videos. Really enjoy coming along for the ride with Garint. Next up, uh -huh. Scott McNally from the Midwest in the US. Uh, he specializes in really making the most of the sort of landscapes he lives in with his Explore Everyday videos. He lives in a similar landscape to me, very, very flat, not much in the way of epic features, but he really works to make the most of those quiet, local foregrounds and landscapes at night. Aurora, storm photography, and astrophotography. <laughs> Nightscape images, Richard Tatty. Well, what can I say? I have learnt more from that guy about nightscape photography than anyone else. He is so generous with his knowledge, with his time. His images are incredibly distinctive. Probably the only nightscape photographer that I know where I hear people refer to his work as if to describe a whole genre, Tatty-esque. I think it's only the likes of Picasso and Monet who really sort of stack up against Richard in terms of a name being used to describe what they do. Absolute legend. I'm convinced you're already subscribed to his channel, but if you're not, please go ahead and do that right now. Matej, my good friend Matej from Slovenia. Beautiful panoramic images from the Julian Alps in Slovenia, recently from the Dolomites. The quality of Matej's images is absolutely stunning. Just think beautiful air glow, H-alpha enriched images, epic mountainous landscapes, and a really nice guy to go with it. Go check him out. Max Claret, 
awesome young guy from out in Sacramento in California. He's been on the scene now for about a year and he really makes the most of the variety of those Californian landscapes and some beautiful skies he manages to get himself out under. His storytelling is absolutely fantastic. He really takes you on for the ride. Fantastic guy, go check out his channel. <laughs> Phoenix Knights Astro, Scott Phoenix, what an absolute legend. He burst onto the scene about a year ago with his amazing catchphrase, absolute scenes. I'm sure you've seen him. He has just infectious enthusiasm, like a kind of Astro Labrador puppy. He's almost made La Palma his second home. He absolutely loves the place, has done so many videos from there. I suspect I'm going to be bumping into Scott over the next 12 months at some point. But if you haven't checked him out yet, go and do so now. Joel John Photography. Joel is the loveliest guy from Wales, out in some of the most beautiful landscapes here in the UK. And Joel's videos really draw you in with the emotion of nightscape photography. He does quite a lot of landscape as well, beautiful sort of misty and autumnal areas that he visits, but no one draws you in or puts a lump in your throat more than Joel. So please go and check out his channel if you haven't already done so. Nightscape Odyssey, Matt Clark. Uh, hailing from South Australia near Adelaide, he gets out to some astonishingly dark skies in that part of the world. Think derelict buildings, massive Milky Way panoramas, absolutely beautiful images that he comes up with. I know of some of his plans for the next year as well, so do check him out. There's gonna be some awesome videos from him coming up. Okay, final one before we have a bonus at the end here. Who is this? Aha, Martin Franson from the beautiful forests and lakes in Sweden. Martin's cinematography is absolutely beautiful, really cinematic vlogs that draw you in. His sense of humor is awesome, and you'll often find in quite a few of his videos little Easter eggs that he sort of tucked away just to make you laugh a bit as well. Really love Martin's style love the images that he produces, love his sense of humour, go check him out. Well, those are the 12 YouTube channels that I have been incredibly grateful for to keep me sane over the last six weeks or so, while the weather here in the UK has been absolutely horrendous. But all of them owe an enormous debt of gratitude and have been inspired by the lovely Alan Wallace, who very sadly passed away last year and whose channel still remains one of the gems on YouTube for nightscape photography. In the unlikely event you are not aware of Alan, if you haven't come across him, go and check out his channel. Amazing man, incredible humility, incredible knowledge that he shared so generously on his channel. His adventures were so much fun. You just really felt like you were brought along with him. So do go and check him out. I certainly uh, was inspired to start this channel because of everything that I learned from Alan and the adventures that I saw him out on. So in the unlikely event you haven't subscribed to that, go over there now and do so. So that's it, 13 channels that you really should be subscribed to. And that almost certainly wasn't an exhaustive list. So if you know of any others that I didn't mention, drop them down in the comments so you can share them with everyone else. Hopefully over the next few weeks, some of this cloud will start to clear and I'll be out on another adventure sometime soon. Thanks for joining me. Shit, where'd that go? <laughs> Or should I perhaps say Greg and Virat because they are definitely a twosome on, that's a terrible thing to say.